Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Tomori card to review today, the foot birthday version of himself. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Starting off real hot on this card. Six foot one, medium, medium work rates, right footed, in game player traits. He has none in game attributes. This card is basically set up perfectly to be an absolute monster in the defensive areas, right? 83 acceleration with a 90 sprint speed is perfect for the shadow chemistry style to boost up to a 93 for acceleration and a 99 for sprint speed. Base card stats for shooting are non-existent, which who cares? He's a center back. Base card stats for passing, pretty decent for a center back to work with the four-star weak foot under pressure with 85 composure. Base card stats for dribbling for a center back as well is very, very good. Uh, the only thing that's going to be a little bit off maybe is going to be the on-the-ball move movement stuff but it's a center back so who cares it's mostly going to be off the ball movement moving left and right chasing after people that we have to test out the most because this card has a very good cutoff when it comes to certain things right so i'll show you guys some examples that i'm talking about so because he's a six foot one player with a high and average plus body type that six foot one height is a really good cutoff because crossing is not necessarily like going for headers is not necessarily a big deal it's more like winning the ball back when someone's trying to clear the ball out from the defensive areas where your center backs you know being able to win that ball in the air is definitely very nice but six foot one with the body type that he has is a very good cutoff for this card with 84 jumping because the biggest thing that I want to test out is what he's like transitioning left and right, what his defensive presence is like, whether or not he has good defensive animations. Because with the shadow chemistry style, guys, you're boosting his defense above 90s for everything. For everything. Even the heading accuracy is at a 91. And heading accuracy is usually the thing that's actually at the lowest, right? So the card is formatted perfectly for the shadow chemistry style. But not only that, but with the body type that he has, with the pace that he has... You're working with 85 aggression and 90 for strength with 81 stamina, okay? This card looks absolutely cracked. So uh, for the center back reviews, you guys know the vibes. We're going to line him up in a nice little... We'll use this 3-4-1-2. It doesn't really... Or 3-4-2-1? Yeah, 3-4-2-1. Uh, we're going to be playing him in the center back position. Uh, the rest of the team, I don't really care how it's lined up, to be honest. I, you know, every time I look at formations like this, I always like kind of want to just try them out. Something different, you know? Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and switch that there, that there. We're not going to put any instructions. We're just going to be able to test out Tamori in the center back position. These guys will keep on balance as well. We won't really touch them. And uh, yeah, let's get into a game or a couple games and uh, see how this Tamori plays. Guys, for a center back, his dribbling is perfectly fine. 100%. The fact that he even has the weak foot to be able to do those passes, like, is going to be great. I, I don't really care about the dribbling stats that much. I do for a center back. It's still very important, obviously. But for him, like, he's obviously going to move like a monster for sure. Yeah. His small little intricate uh, touches are good enough, in my opinion. For a center back? Of course. We'll score a nice little cheeky goal right there. Nice, Tamari. Possession base as well. I accelerated at a bad time right there, to be fair. Possession base as well. Small little dribbles. Nice and calm. Nice, Tamori. Good stuff, man. For this next game, I do have to change the defensive tactics because uh, these guys lose stamina like crazy when I'm on constant pressure constantly. So we'll just do uh, press after possession loss. And then this will just put on balance. We'll put the width high, that high. Width pretty high on this. Depth on 10. And we'll go from there. Constant pressure, they lose uh, stamina pretty quickly, so. You know what's the one thing I noticed about his card? Is that his chase after animation is a tad bit heavy. It's heavier than I thought it would be. It's definitely because of the combination of his uh, body type being the way that it is. But again, if for a center back, it's not a big deal because that's usually how most of them are, so. His transitioning left and right was actually solid there. Like, the way that I had to time the uh, the jockey, it was good. 
gonna score a nice little cheeky driven right there. Ooh, beautiful tackle right there. Let's go. Good interception right there. Actually got rewarded for uh, manually blocking an area. Wow, it's a miracle. I love it. Good, Tamori. Good job there. Nice. I just wanted to like hold that general area because he has that height to be able to intercept that, you know? Oh, good stuff there. I thought I was going to initially get that ball again, but it just didn't come back. Would have been a beautiful setup there from that pass if it actually worked out. See, he gets past him there, but from my poor defending, to be fair, like he kind of like just accelerated into the space properly. Yeah, I had a feeling you're going to use manual goalkeeping again. I saw a shot cancel right there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Bruno the monster. Nice. Good slide tackle there to Mori. My boy. Oh, man. Those ones are really random, by the way. It's like sometimes you just hold L trigger to shield the ball and it's either you get the ball or you don't. It's very random in this game. See, I just held all trigger there to kind of get possession of the ball. It'll be it'll be weird, you know. <laughs> we'll take that. Hmm. Yeah, the chase after part's a little bit strange. That is gonna like screw you with screw with you sometimes, but that's more. I don't really necessarily blame the player that much for that because the game's registration when you're kind of like ahead of the ball is very, very bad. But you do notice that his chase after animation is, is a little bit sloppy in those certain situations. Nice, Tamori. It's my ball too. GG's, GG's. Good interception there. Just calm dribbling, good stuff. Yeah, so the only thing that's like off-putting with the card in regards to like the full meta aspect is obviously the chase after, but the chase after for most of the situations that I found myself in for this player review has been of my own fault, so it's not really a big deal, you know? Because it's kind of like how center backs are mostly. <laughs> Made that work, at least. We'll take that. Okay, out of position. Chase after animation again. Tackle. There you go. Cool. We'll take that. So, again, he doesn't have that agile chase after. Right? So you do have to be careful when people catch or when people pass you. That's why people use fullbacks in this game, because that meta is absolutely insane. But... Nice. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Tamori card. So we ended up giving him the Shadow Chemistry style, which obviously makes the most sense for this card. Uh, the only quote-unquote downfall of this card is obviously the chase after animation of going after people, right? That's a big reason why people actually use fullbacks nowadays, because they feel more agile when chasing after someone, right? But that's obviously from stress testing, because we use tactics that are very aggressive, right? The three at the back tactics, press after possession loss, all that good stuff to test out those certain areas of the card, right? That's honestly the only quote-unquote downfall of the card because with this card on the shadow chemistry style right having the four star weak foot medium medium work rates six foot one height high and average plus body type you're looking at a card that plays well in that defensive area again the chase after animation is noticeable but if you're playing with regular tactics like you're playing like a four four two with like five and five for width and depth the card's going to be very good for you. If you guys end up packing a card like this for the links that you can work with, with Chris Smalling, uh, Teo Hernandez, like all those types of guys, it's a really cool card to have, man, because he even has the physical stats too. He has really cool defensive animations. 
uh, when blocking the ball from certain really clutch, situ- clutch situations. Uh, he's obviously not going to feel quote unquote special like Varane, right? Like Varane is that level of uh, special that I always talk about because he's just a different breed in that center back area with the defensive animations that he has. Like, dude, you notice it from literally the first game with how he performs in game in certain areas of the pitch, right? So he's not going to feel special like that, obviously. But he's still a very good card that gives you awesome links in so many different areas. So if you guys want to get the card, the only thing that you'll notice is the chase after animation. That's it. But if you're playing with regular tactics, he's a very good center back card. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.